when I began to explore how things manifest, I started by breaking my experiences into four categories which seem to cover all the experiences I have. And those were thoughts, sensations, beliefs, and manifestation, what I see before me. Now, the thing that is most unusual about this work is the term sensations. Sensations are actually an amazing tool and it's something that we are not really aware we're having until you really start practicing something like thought exchange. Sensations are not feelings or what we usually call feelings. Sensations are invisible experiences that we experience as being in our body. So sensations are hotness, coldness, pain, pounding, emptiness, fullness, shaking, all sorts of things that we experience inside in our body. So we can talk about being happy, being sad, being scared, being angry. But we don't talk about the fact that our stomach's hurting, our face is getting hot, our blood pressure is going up, our heart is racing. Those are the sensations. Now, sensations are not the same as feelings. What we traditionally call feelings are actually thoughts about sensations. When someone says, I feel angry, I say, how do you know you feel angry? And they say, well, I have a hotness in my chest. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anger. I've spent my life on stages and my heart pounds before I go on a stage. It always does. That doesn't mean that I'm terrified. It doesn't mean that I can't do it. It doesn't mean that I can do it. It means nothing. Over the years, I've come to shift my thought from my pounding heart means I'm terrified to my pounding heart means I'm excited to get on the stage. Same sensation, different interpretation. So sensations are at the base of this work because there's something that most of us don't notice or try to avoid. Look at television and see that half the ads are about if you take this pill you won't feel this pain, you won't feel this, you won't feel that. We think that sensations are something to avoid where in actuality sensations are the missing piece.